All through history, the philosophers, Dante and Ammanius and Socrates, they call themselves world citizens. So it's not a new idea. It's one of the oldest ideas. It's not revolutionary at all. But this is the only age, and we're the privileged ones, who will decide whether the human race will go on or not, whether all those guys in the past, all those prophets and seers and philosophers and poets and so forth were justified. We decide, we here, in this day, in this age, and it's very, very short, decide whether the human race will continue and whether all the new, you know, the future people will be born. It's an immense challenge. And it requires intelligence and guts, and courage and commitment and so forth. But it's, it's, the tools are there. When you say, talk about sovereignty, the United States is a good example of sovereignty because the first, I told Mr. Bush, I wrote him a letter, I said, the first three, you're not sovereign, Mr. Bush. The people are sovereign. The Constitution is the first three words say, we the people. And nobody knows the, I mean, very few people have read the Ninth Amendment or the, even the Bill of Rights in the United States. Very few people have read constitutions at all. But most of the Constitution, the state constitutions say that this Constitution derives from the people. Well, we are the people, and we have to exercise our sovereignty. Okay, to make a long story.